Welcome to AyurvedicScience.com. This is Dr. Virinda Suri. Today we are going to talk about Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease is inflammatory bowel disease and it involves the small intestine usually. The ileum part of small intestine is affected usually. Uh, it, this disease is very comparable to irritable bowel syndrome and ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis is the uh, uh, th there is inflammation in the upper top layer, whereas in the Crohn's disease, all the layers of intestine can be involved. So it actually becomes very uh, progressive and can cause a blockage in the intestine, which uh, usually people will end up in having surgeries. Uh, Crohn's disease usually can run in family. About 20% patient with Crohn's disease will have a, some blood relative with the Crohn's disease. Jewish descent people are more prone to Crohn's disease than African American public. Uh, the treatments are given with anti-inflammatory drugs like sulfasalazine, mesalamine, uh, then the steroids are given like prednisone, uh, then there's uh, also immune blocker drugs uh, like uh, 6 uh, mercaptopurine, azathioprine, Remicade, antibiotic, uh, antiviral uh, drugs, and in extreme cases, the surgeries are done to remove the blockage or uh, to remove the uh, part of the intestine which is not functioning very properly. Overall, I've seen hundreds of patients with this disease, which has not shown as uh, results as promised results as they should get with the drug regimen. And uh, I've been treating uh, with the, uh, this Crohn's disease, uh, these patients almost almost 20 plus years uh, with a lot of good success. And there was a very heartening to see a recent study in the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, uh, June 2009. They did a study at the Department of, Department of Pediatrics, Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons, New York. Uh, the number of patients were very small, six, but all these six patients, after going on nutritional uh, supplement and guidelines, went into remission. Uh, after two months, you know, which is pretty very effective, you know, yeah. going into remission in two months. Also, uh, three patients stayed into remission up to four to eight years. One patient went into uh, uh, you know, got the disease back after he did not follow the nutritional guidelines. The treatment was very close to my treatment where the Boswellia serrata was given, curcumin was given, uh, bovine clostrum was given, fish, fish peptide was given, and also probiotic. Plus, they were avoiding the gluten-containing and certain other grains containing food and carrageenine-containing food. Overall, the 100% success rate was very impressive uh, in these six patients. And uh, that is very similar to the results which I get in my clinical experience. As long as people follow their nutritional guidelines, this is very important part of the puzzle here. If you don't follow the uh, nutrition guidelines, you're not going to get the good result. I also uh, add the breathing exercise uh, intestinal strengthening, breathing exercise, yogic exercises to help the patient to get over the weakness in their intestine. So, interestingly, I think there is a complementary and alternative treatment available if you want to get help with Crohn's disease. So, uh, if you want to get a good response, you may want to consult uh, your uh, complementary and alternative uh, doctor if you're not... Uh, uh, getting satisfied with your current uh, treatment regimen. This is uh, Dr. Prindasuri with AyurvedicScience.com.